aphids are cultured on seedlings of susceptible cowpea genotypes. These seeds are planted in the insect tree and aphids are introduced from an already infested plant onto these young seedlings. The aphids multiply and form adults which are used for infestation. In aphid infestation, the young plants which are to be tested are inoculated with five adult aphids each. A brush is used to pick the aphids and gently place them on the leaves. These aphids often move and hide under the leaves where they start feeding on the seedlings and multiply. After 21 days of infestation, aphids cause serious damages to susceptible plants. Whilst resistant plants may still have aphids on them and also very vigorous. Susceptible plants show signs of severe wilting, yellowing of leaves, and in some cases even seedling death. Resistant plants still are robust with no leaf curling or capping. After 21 days, Plants are scored on a scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is resistant and 5 is susceptible. Thank you. My name is Ayo Mamini, a plant pathologist with CSI Salad, also a tech house scholar. Today I will be taking you through a procedure we use in preparing the opening for macrophonia, fascinoid screening the outlet. So first, we will uh, sterilize the laminar flow beam with a 70% alcohol concentration. This is to help reduce the contaminations we experience in, in our work. This will then be followed by, with the uh, sterilization with cotton ball impregnated with the 70% ethanol. Ensure that the restorer sterilization of the hood is a hat we have to come up with so as to reduce the amount of contamination we are observing with our cultures prior.
generally the heat sterilization. We will retrieve a culture, the manga isolate of macrofamina fasciolina earlier isolated from an an infected cow. Subcultured on the PDA. And allow to go for three to five days. This is from a 10-day-old culture, which was ever cultured for the purpose of administration. Now, rice, which was previously autoclaved, will be, was, it will be inoculated with the mycelia plots of the mycelia plots of the Macrophonia fasciolina and kept in the dark for 12 to 15 days. And this will be the resultant. So inoculate the cowpea test crops. That will be screened for resistance to the macrophomena of cellulite. Allow to stay longer. We call it colonization com continues. until a black mass is observed. One, three grains of the colonized rice will then be used to inoculate each cowpea plant, each cowpea seed. And we'll observe for disease formation. Where in most cases, the cowpea will die before emergence or during emergence and at the flowering stage. So, incidence and severity will then be scored at the at germination, vegetative stage, and at the flowering stage.